hey, the other day I posted about dual language subtitles on Netflix and on YouTube. I recently learned how to do that. So if you're learning French or Spanish or German or whatever language, you can get the subtitles in the language you're learning and in English or another language directly underneath. And it's been a game changer. Now, let me share my screen and walk you through how this all works. And by the way, if you're new to my work, my name is Azarin, and my big focus is on helping adults to actually become fluent. Most of the time when people try to learn languages, they get better, but fluency is not something that happens. And so my focus is on, my focus is on helping people to actually legitimately, literally uh, become fluent in other languages. And so this video, for example, is one step in that direction. Now, step one of getting your subtitles is using Language Reactor. It's free and it's a Chrome extension. As you can see, I have I personally have already installed it. It used to be known as Language Learning with Netflix and possibly you've heard of that before. Maybe yes, maybe not. And so once you download or once you install Language Reactor into Google Chrome, the moment you open up YouTube as well as Netflix, you're instantly going to see at the bottom this little toggle button for Language Reactor. And so you can turn it off, for example, then you get your regular subtitles or on, and then you get the super subtitles, the subtitles that, for example, um, have French and English. Now, the cool thing about this, um, the cool thing about this is you can also look up individual words. So let's say I was a French learner and I didn't know the word aujourd'hui. I can hover my mouse over it and it shows me the translation. I can also click it. I can click it as well. And it gives me a gra grammatical explanation, gives me examples with that word, gives me an explanation of the word as, as to what it means. Right. If you have a premium version of Language Reactor, you can do you can mark the, you can mark the word as learning or mark it as read. So there are some premium features as well that I actually haven't paid for myself. Now, using the dual language subtitles, I believe that's just one half of the equation. Right. That's that's obviously very very powerful, but I do believe it's only one half of the equation. As I told you before, um, for me, it's about trying to make sure that I can get as close as possible to helping people guarantee, quote unquote, that they reach fluency. And so the second part of this equation is using an, a second tool. So we're gonna use Language Reactor and we're gonna pair it with this tool right here. Now I know it looks a little confusing at first, but I'll walk you through how you're gonna do this. Um, step one, you're going to go to this tab at the bottom that says vocab test, beginner to advanced. 99% of you are gonna work on this tab. You look through all the words I've put in for you, and you're going to put a number one beside every single word that you know in, in the language you're learning. If there's more than one word for any of these words, you just need to know one of them. So the word have in French, there's many forms of the verb have. J'ai, there's j'ai, tu as, tu avais, il avait, nous avions, nous avons, vous, oops, we have lots of different choices. It doesn't matter. As long as you know any one of them, just one, type the number one. And that's going to start to estimate your vocabulary size. So as you do your Netflix watching and your YouTube listening, YouTube watching rather, with Language Reactor installed, and you have your dual language subtitles now, what you're going to do is you're going to start to track if your vocabulary is increasing. Every I would recommend doing, so listen carefully, I would recommend every two months you reassess your vocabulary level. And that's going to show you to what degree you are improving. The other, uh, the other part of this document you can use is you can use the level up tracker. And specifically, you can use the bottom section here. Every single date where you study, you type the dates in, and then you write down what you did on those days. Maybe listening, maybe speaking, maybe some pronunciation. Obviously on Netflix, it's lots of listening, right? Obviously, and YouTube as well. So you put this all in and it's going to give you a study hour summary. It'll show you a breakdown of how you spent your study time. Best of all, it'll give you an approximation of how many more hours you'll need to study before you level up 
from where you are now to the next level of fluency. It's an estimation, of course, but still gives you a rough idea. I believe that accountability is really important. If you want to reach fluency, you, you need accountability. You need it. And this document paired, I think, with the studies in general that you're doing and also Language Reactor, right? Language Reactor is the subtitle plugin. When you put this all together, it's going to actually help you tremendously, I think, to, um, to, to become fluent in whatever language you're trying to learn. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'll put links to everything in the description box. If you do want, um, if you do want a copy of this, I actually use it with Calgary Language Nerd students, so people who are taking lessons at uh, at my business. But I'm happy just to send it to you, and um, just email me. Go to my website, fill out the contact form, tell me you're looking for this level up tracker, and I'd be more than happy to just email it over to you. Language Reactor is just languagereactor.com, super duper easy. Okay. That's that. If you have any questions, let me know. And best of luck with your language learning. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.